Oho was born of the Hawaiian Renaissance and grassroots activism. To feed our community and support its needs. To advocate for our people and Aina. Today it's still about Aina. It's still about community. It's still about making Hawaii a better place for everyone. Oha, empowering Hawaiians, strengthening Hawaii. Aloha mai kako. I'm Kuhio Lewis, OHA's Community Outreach Manager. On behalf of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Board of Trustees, and our administration, we'd like to welcome you to the 2014 Investiture. Today, five trustees will be installed. At-large trustee, trustees John Waihei IV, Trustee Rowena Akana, and Trustee Leahu Isa. On Oahu, Trustee Peter Apo, and on Maui, Trustee Car Carmen Hululinzi. Today, joining us are over 400 guests including government officials, Ali'i Trusts, benevolent societies, and our community supporters. We thank you for tuning in. For enhanced coverage, please follow us on Oha Hawaii on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Mahalo again for tuning in. Aloha. Aloha, 
Ihmeni kaakou, joko kaakou laavui, ja meleni noko apajane noko kaakou mea, aloko nei noko kaakou laavui apau, hawai nei, hawa ipano i, ke olo loko. Hawai ipano i, na na. or Central Union Church. Akai ke aku no mako no aku ko mai ka ohana. Ka ohana ano oe ka hako Yesu Christo a me ka ohana no o ka Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Ke no no i oe ke akua ke ho po mai ka i mai no ke i halawai ke i halawai ho no ho ana ke i halawai ho po mai ka i mai ana no ka poe ohana i kahu waiwai no 
uh, Office of Hawaiian Affairs. E you know, ko mako pule ana no ke imana ba? Ika kaku no Yesu ke ako ko mai uh, make up uh, e ako mai. Amen. Euro, Euro, Euro. Now no, I have no, 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 the new Board of Trustees from the island of Hawaii, Chair Robert Lindsay, for the Board of Trustees of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Chair Lindsay. Aloha and good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you on behalf of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs to today's investiture ceremony. I'd like to acknowledge our special guests who are here, the Honorable Governor of our State of Hawaii, David Ige. David, thank you for being here. I would also want to welcome members of our Royal Societies who are here today to honor us by their presence. I want to recognize also the members of our Hawaii Legislature, members of our State Senate, members of the State House. And I also want to welcome all of you who are giving us your time this morning to be part of our celebration. As a new chairman of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, I am extremely honored and privileged to welcome our five newly elected trustees who will be serving us as servant leaders at our people's table to continue to do the hard work that we need to do on behalf of our beneficiaries. I would also like to offer a special mahalo to all the dedicated OHA employees whose hard work every day makes a tremendous impact on our community. I want you to know that your contributions today to the success of OHA's 2014 investiture ceremony have not gone unnoticed. At this time, it gives me tremendous pleasure again to congratulate our five newly elected trustees who have been sworn in to serve our people across our archipelago for the next four years. It is with enthusiasm and hope that I look forward to working closely with all of you to fulfill our obligation to helping create a better future for our beneficiaries. And I'd also like to take a moment to remember Paulette Kahelepuna, a master in the ancient Hawaiian art of feather lay making. We will joyfully honor her memory today by presenting to the five newly elected trustees the last late hulu Paulette has made for our investiture ceremony. These symbolic gifts are cherished in honor of the beauty, vibrancy, and pride that reflect our Hawaiian culture. Let us honor our heritage as Hawaiian people and Paulette's memory by performing our duties in a way that inspires confidence and support as we strive to obtain Pono for our beneficiaries. Mahalo. At this time, I would like to call forward our five newly elected trustees 
Dr. Leigh Ahuisa, trustee at large. Welcome, Leigh. Thank you. I would also like to welcome trustee at large, Rowena Akana, who is the longest serving member of our board of trustees. From the island of Oahu, Oahu trustee, Peter Rapol. From Maui Nopaoi, Carmen Pululinzi. And from the island of Oahu, at large trustee, John Waihe the fourth. I ask the duly elected trustees to turn around, face the altar, please. And together with us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Valley of Kono is very sacred. Uh, it is sacred, of course, in the scriptures, uh, sacred in the New Testament as well as the Old Testament. And it is sacred also for the kingdom of Hawaii. You will recall that Kamehameha the Great, yeah, with his wisdom, yeah, instituted the Olele no Oyao that has become for us the motto of our life. And in that motto, he declared that righteousness or Pono is the only way, is the only proper way for our people and our island. Yeah. As you have been newly elected into the office of trusteeship for our people yeah, of the Ohana of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs and uh, Abiju Aloha, and thank you very much yeah, for making that commitment uh, to serve our people. May you serve it with puna, with righteousness. The second culture, uh, and, and this will be a cultural value that I wanted to bring to our attention this morning, is uh, on the occasion when Kamehameha the Great did battle with Kahikili on Maui at the Battle of Iao Valley. Uh, some of you may recall yeah, that if, uh, you know, if Las Vegas was given an odds on that battle, yeah, 
uh, they will not favor Kamehameha uh, because he was not of the kingdom of Maui. Kahekili would be the very favorite one, and so would be his warriors. Okay, well trained, of course. Uh, and so the last word that Kamehameha encouraged his warriors yeah, before doing battle with the warriors of Kahekili at, at the Yale Valley was, Imua e na pokii. Move forward, warriors. Move forward. Imua, imua e na pokii. A e inu ikawai. Drink the waters that are out there. And for Kamehameha at that point and his warriors, what was out there was do battle with the warriors of Kaikili. And so the word in that Olelo Noeau is the word of Abba. Inu ika vai Abba. That whatever is out there yeah, for us, for our people, okay, for our future, nice, sweet, or no, as well as Abba Abba. Okay. Inu no oko. Inu no oko. And now that you have been elected into the office, uh, do you now accept yeah, the responsibilities for leaving our people to Inu? Yeah? To Inu Ikawai. Ikawai a e pono no kako no ana. E pule kako. Da ki ako ke ho ho mai ka i mai o i loko ko ho no ana no ke kahu ko ho vai vai. Okay, manaba a me manaba a Paulo aku a mene no ke aku a mene. And at this time, we'd also like to recognize the current serving members of our board, Colette Machado from the island of Molokai, Dan Ahuna from the island of Maui. I'm sorry, from the island of Kauai. <laughs> and at-large trustee, Haunani Apoliona, and I've already been recognized. So. Kahu will bless all of us as a collective at this point. And now again, may I ask all of you to please turn and face the altar. And I want to share another little noise about people. You have been charged and elected into the office of Hawaiian Affairs. Kaino no no kova. That's your canoe. That's your canoe. One of the old Illinois yells that I would like to include in the blessing of all of you to continue the work of the office is a kaupe akuno ikahoe. That is to say, when you are in a canoe, the first thing you need to do is to thrust your paddle out. Yeah. Thrust your paddle out. Yeah. It's to know yeah. not only who's out there, of course, but what's out there for the one. And then the second thing you do in the canoe is a ko mai ikahoe. And then you bring the paddle towards you because you are the most important part yeah, as the person of that paddling, yeah. of that paddling, of that thrust. Yeah. And then the third line of that is a hoe. So that is only when you thrust the paddle of a kaupe akuno ikahoe a ko mai ikahoe and bring the paddle to you. That's when you hoe. That's when you hoe. And so the blessing that I will now like to offer is not only that the good Lord will entrust you with the strength and the courage and the aloha yeah, to hoe, but also the wisdom yeah, and the sense of pono that come along. Let us pray. E yono ko ma ko ko e oihana no ka oihana no ko office of Hawaiian Air Affairs me na oihana apau o na kahu 
Mala ma mai. Amen na kahu vai vai mai. Na ka office of my wife face. Ke ho po mai ka imai no ho po no po. I loko o kawa. Kawa o oha. Amen no ho no. Ke me me me. O ko no a pa. Ke yu mna wa. Amen na wa a pa lo aku. Amen. Amen. Mahalo Kahu for your kind blessing. We will take very, very seriously the manaho that you shared with us this morning. Mahalo Nui. Before I turn things back to Kapohana, Dr. Kamanao Crab, just a few more uh, introductions. We're honored today to have with us the Honorable Mayor Kirk Caldwell, the City and County of Honolulu. And I'm, I'm sorry, I failed to mention President David Lastner of our university. Dave, thank you for being here. And I want to thank also the trustees from our other Ali Trust who are here today. Mahalo nui. Kapuana. The Bible reading that is the spiritual focus for the investment of our trustees and the blessing of our trustees of Ohana uh, has been printed in the program. I will read uh, the Hawaiian portion of it. From the book, I am a kabuki matayo. Eyo no ka buke ana. Po mai ka ika po e po loli. Makivai no ka pono. No ka mea e ho o ma ma o na. Ia la ko. Po mai ka ika po e ho o ma au. Ia mai no ka pono. No ka mea no la ko ki au puni o ka lani. Pela o ko e ho a ka ka aku ai i ko o ko ma la ma la ma. I mu o na ka na ka. I iki mai ai la kou ika o kou hana mai ka i ana. I ho nani ako no i la kou i ko o kou makua i ka lani. A me ka wanana o amosa. E yo no ke i mana o. A ka e ho o kahe ia ka ho o pono ana e like me ka vai. A o ka pono e like me ka vai kahe i kaika. Nā ke a kua ke hoa pua mai ka i mai no ku mako o lolo. O lolo hele lo ana. Ahana.
Uh, we are friends with Juliana, from Kamafoa, Kenshan, some of the musicians that sing Hawaiian music. We believe Hawaiian music is a foundation to bring everybody together. We are going to sing Kanae uh, Puni, and we'd like to invite any of the trustees, Governor Ige, Mike, to come and sing with us to demonstrate unity and aloha. And how we can see how music can bring us all together. And Kavika, you're a good bass too, so you should come sing. Anybody else to come and sing? We're going to have beautiful hula. Please let's uh, rejoice in the celebration of our Lahui and our Kuleana to bring peace to Hawaii. Aloha. We're going to sing an F. <laughs> Mahalo. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Condolences out to our Ali'i Trust, our Royal and Benevolent Societies. Uh, warm welcome to Governor Ige and his staff for attending today. Esteemed legislators, uh, Mayor Caldwell, who just attended, and President Lasseter from the University of Hawaii, uh, Representative Kaniala Ng. Representative Scott Saiki, Senator Josh Green for the island of Hawaii, Senator Lorraine Inoue, also from Hawaii, Congresswoman Tausi Galbert uh, and her staff, Walt Kaneakua, U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono and her representative, Kehau Yap. Department of Interior Assistant Secretary Esther Kiaina, uh, representing her Stanton Enamoto, uh, as well as our Ohana family and friends, and one from just new trustee, Le'ahu Isa, and very appropriately, Governor John Waihee Sr. I would like to begin first offering my congratulations to the new five trustees, uh, especially new trustee uh, Le'ahu Isa, who comes to the Office of Hawaiian Affairs for her first time. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I look forward to working with each and every one of you, as well as the board leadership. And consistent with your, this year's theme, in the words of our great king and sovereign, I look forward to our continued efforts as a call to all of our people to stand together, to strive to obtain not just pono, but justice. There is much work ahead of us that remains to be accomplished to fulfill not only his legacy, but the monarchs thereafter. In keeping with the theme for this year's investiture, I wanted to take a few minutes to update everyone on how OHA is striving to close some of the critical gaps in our community, not only among Native Hawaiians, but others across the state. As you know, education is a high priority for OHA. In the school year 2012-2013, Native Hawaiian students in the Department of Education who participated in the Hawaii State Assessment tested at 64% proficiency in reading and 49% in math. Those figures represent a significant improvement from 2009 to 2010 when Native Hawaiians tested 55% in reading and 32% in math. 
We also know from data collected within the University of Hawaii system, more than ever, Native Hawaiians are attending not just community college and achieving bachelor's degree in post-secondary high, but they are also graduating at the highest rate we have ever seen. So we continue to support those efforts and look to greater partnerships with President Lasner and the UH system staff. Our efforts also resulted in a higher percentage of Native Hawaiians who are living healthier. For example, the percentage of obese Native Hawaiians decreased to 39% in 2013 from 44% the previous year. As for our efforts to improve a sense of economic well-being among Kanaka Maoli, our research provides some encouragement as we focus on helping more Native Hawaiians become homeowners. In 2013, the home ownership rate for Native Hawaiians steadily increased for the fourth consecutive year to 57%, which represents 38,936 homeowners. Another priority for OHA has been protecting the aina as part of a larger effort to honor the past while preparing for our future. As the state's 13th largest landowner, we manage more than 27,000 acres of land set aside for cultural, educational, environmental, and agricultural purposes. An example of our focus on being responsible stewards of such natural resources as land and water, the result over these past years was a settlement for the Navai Eha case on Maui, which led to the restoration of 12.9 million gallons of water to two central Maui streams. We look to continue to advocate for this as we work with the Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation in their effort for East Maui as well. This past year, we endured many challenges with respect to renewed efforts to address opportunities to achieve political recognition as well as reestablish our sovereign status. President Obama is often quoted that the arc of history bends towards justice. If such is true, that this is a unique moment in time for Kanaka Maui, and we must all ensure that we create the kinds of opportunities to seek justice whenever and wherever possible. After 21 years of struggle, it is hope, hope for our children, hope for our grandchildren, that shall be the beacon to sustain our desires for a better future for Hawaii, not just for Native Hawaiians, but for all who live in our oneha now, the birth sands of our kupuna. If politics is the art of possibilities, then diplomacy is the skillful mastery of opportunities. Therefore, from here on forward, we shall envision not just the possibilities, but capitalize on the opportunities. With the leadership of an Ali'i consortium comprised of Lunalilo Trust, the Queen Kahumano Societies, and Haleona Ali'i, we should envision a nation building process in 2015 that embraces such principles as kako, inclusivity, versus mako, exclusion, pono, fairness, rather than special interests, integrity opposed to duplicity, and justice for all in contrast to justice for a few. OHA's success is being consistent with purpose. That means staying true to our mission by advocating for Native Hawaiians to improve their well-being, providing targeted resources that fulfill our mission and to facilitate collaboration among organizations and agencies to enhance community collective ability to better the conditions of all of our people. If we stay on this course, 
It is possible to build a beloved nation that is recognized internationally as well as nationally. This can only be achieved by investing in relationships with others that share a common purpose through collective action and by earning the trust of our community. If we stay focused, we stand together and aspire for greater integrity, we can and will achieve broad, lasting change that empowers Hawaiians and strengthens Hawaii. I close with a simple question. In 10, 50, 100 years from now, what will be the story that we share with the unborn generation? What will be our story? That story begins with our voice, but let it end in the refrain from our grandchildren as we all strive for Pono. No Laila, e pai pa aku ya koko, e na kahu Hawaii ke kahu hu, o kahale o mauleola, o kake na kuli ana Hawaii. Yaokoe, Nakua Ho, Nokome Hano Hano, Yalaka Yakakua Pau. I pledge my commitment to work with the trustees as we work together in Lokahi and Harmony to strive for Pono to fulfill not only Kamehameha, but all of the Ali'i after them to fulfill our legacy. Mahalo Nui. Let us receive the benediction for this day's investiture ceremony and the blessings of God on all of us. E mau aku ka loko mai ka ino ka haku o Yesu Christo, ki aloha no ki akua. A me ka launa buana mai ku uhane malala me iyo ka kou no apau. Ka kou no ka uhana no o ka office of Hawaiian Affairs. A me ka kou no ka uhana no o Hawaii nei. Amen. No, 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 Apau. Ke i manawa, amen, manawa, Apau, loa, ako. Amen, no, ki a kua. Amen. Oh, uh, he may be moving my hook. Yeah.